Is it common sense to allow your activist judges to ignore your history, your culture, your declaration of independence, and every other founding document to remove God from public life? And endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, their creator, not the ACLU, not the will of the atheist, the atheist, the atheist, the atheist. I was called an atheist at times, but I remember a moment of realization at age eight. After an Anglican sermon, about a God who would sacrifice his own son to bring revenge on us wretched humans. And I, I walked out into the garden, down steps I can still now perfectly see in my mind. And I reflected that God was too good to ever take part in such a deed. I continue to believe this. Any religion that has anything in it that shocks the mind of a child is not a true religion. Then, years later, as I sat at Rue Fauberge, Saint Denis, delightful place actually, more like a, a farmhouse than a Parisian dwelling, we had chickens, ducks, geese, rabbits, and two pigs. And as I sat and waited for the knock on the door to take me away to the machine, the guillotine, for my part in trying to save the head of the French king, I wrote, Age of Reason, part first, in all haste. Ironic in that I wrote it to inspire mankind to a more exalted idea of God, and as an attack on atheism, and on the slaughter of priests, and on state religion. But this is the work that would be used to instigate the mutilation of my reputation. Excerpts. Ah, Haydn's the seven last words of our Savior on the cross. Perfect. I believe in one God and no more, and I hope for happiness beyond this life. I believe in the equality of man, and I believe that religious duties consist in doing justice, loving mercy, and endeavoring to make our fellow creatures happy. But I do not believe in the creed professed by the Jewish church, by the Roman church, by the Greek church, by the Turkish church, by the Protestant church, nor by any church that I know of. My own mind is my own church. Each of these churches accuses the other of unbelief, and for my part, I disbelieve them all. I do not mean by this declaration to condemn those who believe otherwise. They have the same right to their beliefs as I have to mine. But it is necessary to the happiness of man that he be mentally faithful to himself. Infidelity does not consist in believing or in disbelieving. It consists in professing to believe what he does not believe. And let us bring the subject of the adulterous connection of church and state fairly and openly before the world, and every religion is good that teaches man to be good. And God, I stand in awe of God and his magnificence. Everything that we see and touch and reap and eat is his creation. But I believe that if when you look at this creation, you have a need to understand what God was thinking, then look into yourself for that answer. Not to some man in brightly colored robes and a building full of brightly colored glass, all the better to dazzle you, but not to help you understand God. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in brief, is deism. And there were many of us. Washington, Jefferson, Franklin, Hancock, Madison, Hamilton, and myself.